Thursday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law, or from faith in what you heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Does then the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg. If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection what can we expect from God, especially when we recognize that He doesn't owe us anything and that we don't deserve His grace and favor? Jesus used the illustration of a late-night traveler to teach His listeners an important lesson about how God treats us in contrast to the kind of treatment we might expect from good neighbors. The rule of hospitality in biblical times required the cooperation of the entire community in entertaining an unexpected or late-night guest. Whether the guest was hungry or not, a meal would be served. In a small village it would be easy to know who had baked bread that day. Bread was essential for a meal because it served as a utensil for dipping and eating from the common dishes. Asking for bread from one's neighbor was both a common occurrence and an expected favor. To refuse to give bread would bring shame because it was a sign of inhospitality. If a neighbor can be imposed upon and coerced into giving bread in the middle of the night, how much more hospitable is God, who, no matter what the circumstances, is generous and gracious to give us what we need. In conclusion Jesus makes a startling claim, how much more will the Heavenly Father give? The Lord is ever ready to give us not only what we need, but more than we can expect. He gives freely of His Holy Spirit that we may share in His life and joy. Do you approach your Heavenly Father with confidence in His mercy and kindness? Heaven Father, you are merciful, gracious and kind. May I never doubt your love nor hesitate to seek you with confidence in order to obtain the gifts, graces, and daily provision I need to live as your disciple and child. <laughs>